We recently stayed at the Explorers Hotel near Disneyland Paris, and here's our review. Hi, Hannah here from AH Disney. The Explorers Hotel is part of the Fabulous Hotel Group, and while it's classed as an off-site hotel, it's only a 10-minute drive to the parks. And if you don't own a car or like to enjoy a champagne or two on Main Street like us, a free shuttle bus runs between the hotel and Disneyland Paris from 8am to midnight, roughly every 20 minutes on average, or 40 minutes in off-peak periods. The bus uses bus stop I outside Marne Valley train station. And this bus goes to multiple hotels, so be prepared to be packed in like sardines. The theme of this hotel, as the name suggests, is explorers, with pirates, dragons and mermaid decor throughout, and will really appeal to younger kids. The lobby has a treasure map on the wall, and star navigation charts on the floor, and the centerpiece dragon which occasionally roars really gives the explorer feel. There are 390 rooms at this hotel, ranging from double rooms to family suites able to accommodate 10 people. Prices are roughly £150 per night for a standard room, but vary between off and on peak times, which is significantly cheaper than the on-site hotels. We stayed in a double room, which is a really good size with plenty of storage. The bed was comfortable with plugs on either side of the bed, which for me is a big bonus and you don't normally get that in a Disney hotel. There is a drinks, fridge and kettle with some tea and coffee bits, but the powdered milk was a bit odd. The bathroom and toilet are separate, which is another bonus when trying to get ready quickly for a rope drop in the morning. One safety issue to note with these rooms though, which seems to be standard in all of the Disney area hotels, is the window doesn't seem to have any safety mechanism on it to stop it opening fully. So please be careful with the little ones as the bed was close to the window so a child might be able to climb out. We had no problem sleeping in this room and as it is a big family hotel, we were slightly worried about noise, but we had no problems. We couldn't hear any of the other rooms. There are so many facilities at this hotel for kids. The indoor swimming pool has three slides and a pirate ship to explore and is open from 8.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Please note that the hotel requests you don't use your room towels at the pool. So if you haven't bought a pool towel, they can be hired for two euros for the whole length of your stay. There's a soft play area called Scallywag's Jungle Adventure for the kids to burn off some energy and run wild in a safe environment under their parents' supervision, of course. And there's also a shipwreck for kids to climb and explore with plenty of seating for parents to be able to watch them play while they relax after a long, hard day at the park. On a nice day, there's also an outdoor play area called Sir Archibald's Ship to Explore. There is an arcade filled with video games to keep older kids entertained. This is pay to play though, with tokens available to purchase for two euros each, which seems pretty steep and I could see an hour in here being very, very expensive. The most unique facility at this hotel though has to be the interactive cinema. We didn't get a chance to experience this, but the interactive cinema lets you, your family and friends help Blue Jacket Jack fight pirates and aim to get the highest score. This does come at an extra charge, but it would be great for older children and a great family experience. On to food now, and the main restaurant on site is called La Plantation, which is where breakfast is served each day from 7 a.m. till 10.30. A continental buffet breakfast is included in your stay with various cereals, breads, meats, cheeses, and fruit. And the thing I need in the morning, coffee machines. This was perfect for Adam and I to fuel up for a long park day. But if you do like cooked breakfast with bacon, eggs and pancakes, you do have the options to upgrade your breakfast to the captain's breakfast for €9.50 for adults or €4 Euros for children. A buffy style dinner is also served in this restaurant from 6pm until 10.30pm. It's €30 Euros for adults and €14 Euros for children. There is a captain's library table service restaurant which seems to have a varied menu but this only opens seasonally, so please check it's open before planning to eat here, as it was unfortunately not open during our stay. If you've popped back to the resort during the day, there are a couple of lunch options. Bagel Island has a selection of bagels and baguettes, or if you fancy something sweet, waffles. In the main area where the shipwreck is, you will find Marco's Pizza, open from 12.30 until 11pm, with a variety of pizzas starting at 14 euros each with a selection of soft drinks served here. 
But if you fancy something a little stronger, just next to Marco's is the Trader's Bar. There is also a snack bar serving cakes, donuts, popcorn and candy floss for a little sugar pick-me-up. Overall, I think if you have younger children, this is a great hotel for them. It was clean and the staff were really friendly. The furniture in the room is a little worn, but nothing too extreme. I actually think this might be a better option than one of the value resorts on site for the amount of activities there are for kids to do. As for example, Disney Santa Fe Hotel doesn't have any play areas or a swimming pool and will be more expensive. So that was our review of the Explorers Hotel. Hopefully it helps when choosing a hotel for the Disneyland Paris trip. And please check out our other hotel reviews on our channel. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and hit that notification bell. Thank you for being our guest and until next time, just keep swimming.